Hello, and welcome to this overview of Positive Behavioral Interventions and Supports, PBIS, at Tier 1. PBIS is an evidence-based tiered framework for supporting students' behavioral, academic, social, emotional, and mental health. PBIS is implemented both nationally and internationally across states, territories, districts, in schools, classrooms, and with individual students. PBIS fits seamlessly across contexts such as rural, suburban, and urban areas, and across many settings such as elementary, middle, high schools, including juvenile justice, early childhood, and therapeutic programs. PBIS focuses on the local culture by working with all partners, including students, families, and community members, to prioritize valued outcomes and high expectations for all students. PBIS centers equity by supporting educators' roles in implementation, adapting practices to meet individual needs, and disaggregating data by group to ensure success for everyone. By using preventative and evidence-based practices to promote social, emotional, and behavioral growth, PBIS uses data to identify the supports needed for the students and the adults in those settings, make changes, and monitor progress. The PBIS framework organizes an operational system of support to build capacity to implement, sustain, and scale up implementation efforts. A multi-tiered system of support, MTSS, is a prevention-focused framework guided by a team using data to drive decisions that organizes evidence-based practices and systems to improve outcomes for all students. PBIS is one of the first systematically developed MTSS frameworks that shares several key features with other MTSS approaches, including response to intervention, RTI, in which leadership teams prioritize prevention and engage in a proactive continuous improvement process to support students' social, emotional, behavioral, academic, and mental health and well being outcomes. As a multi tiered prevention framework, PBIS emphasizes a comprehensive school wide system of evidence based and culturally responsive practices that are adapted and aligned to support students' social, emotional, and behavioral needs to promote academic success. The PBIS framework organizes supports across multiple tiers of intensity that are layered and vary based on the level of student or adult need. The three tiers of prevention can be seen in this graphic. For this webinar, we will only be focusing on tier one in the green, known as universal or primary prevention. All members, students and adults across all settings of an organization, such as a school, receive universal supports to increase social, emotional and behavioral outcomes to enhance academic success. Core tier one supports provide the foundation upon which all of the other tiers are built. There are several core principles guiding tier one PBIS that may require a shift in thinking about discipline and student behavior. While traditional discipline approaches to behavior are usually reactive and punishing, PBIS is proactive and teaches and models social, emotional, and behavioral skills for all in a setting. PBIS relies on evidence-based interventions to effectively support educators and staff in addressing student behavior proactively. Data are used to monitor progress and intervene as early as needed to improve skill development of the students and support implementation of the intervention for the adults. When establishing a Tier 1 PBIS system, the leadership team is one of the most important features. This team has the responsibility of maintaining, building, and scaling up a Tier 1 system. This includes selecting key practices, setting up regular meetings, and using data on an ongoing basis to monitor, evaluate, and disseminate implementation efforts, and to establish a commitment across partners to build a positive climate. The team also works to select, train, and coach new personnel and evaluate the needs of personnel related to PBIS implementation. For example, are the adults implementing the practices with fidelity or as intended?
Within the PBIS framework, there are several key universal practices. These practices are most effective when established within a Tier 1 system, as described on the previous slide. Tier 1 promotes collaboration and partnership with students, families, and educators to support the development of social, emotional, and behavioral skills. Schools and programs define, model, and teach the identified expectations that they want to see and hear to set individuals up for success. These expectations should align with routines that are taught in the settings where they are desired, such as the classroom. Tier 1 practices encourage, acknowledge, and celebrate these expected and taught skills when they are used and prevent and respond when these skills are not used. In essence, when undesired, unwanted, or unexpected behaviors occur. Tier 1 also encourages the use of data to engage in problem solving by using a continuous improvement process that fosters school and family partnerships. To ensure that PBIS is working, PBIS teams collect and evaluate data on both fidelity and outcomes of implementation on an ongoing basis. There are many ways to evaluate and plan for Tier 1 implementation. This slide contains links to the Tiered Fidelity Inventory, TFI, and the PBIS Evaluation Blueprint. The TFI is one of the resources that measures PBIS fidelity at Tiers 1, 2, and 3. The PBIS Evaluation Blueprint is a resource to assist in developing an evaluation plan. Collecting both fidelity and outcome data are critical when planning for supports and adjusting those supports for positive impact in your organization. For example, when a school is implementing Tier 1 with fidelity, are the students achieving the desired outcomes, such as increased instructional time and decreased disciplinary events? For additional fidelity tools for other contexts, such as early childhood and juvenile justice settings, please see the tab Tools at the top of the webpage and click on Assessments at pbis.org. What is the evidence of outcomes for Tier 1? What do all need? While assessing the fidelity of implementation is critical to ensuring the greatest possibility of achieving desired outcomes, as described on the previous slide, other outcome data can be equally important in determining the impact of PBIS implementation efforts, particularly at Tier 1. Examining other outcomes may include, for example, data on consumer satisfaction, school climate, attendance, student academic and or discipline data. And this may not be an exhaustive list. It's important to examine the types of data that are impactful for your organization. Regardless of the data your team decides to use to examine Tier 1, it's critical to consider whether your organization is healthy for all students, families, personnel, and community members, as indicated by the data, all students, including all subgroups of students, meaningfully benefit from the practices, and all staff, including all subgroups of staff, meaningfully benefit from the system as well. PBIS is the most widely researched framework for promoting positive school systems and fostering students' social, emotional, behavioral, and mental health. Here we have summarized the evidence of outcomes that schools have achieved when implementing PBIS with fidelity. For almost three decades, PBIS has impacted positively student and teacher outcomes and reduced the reliance on exclusionary discipline. Studies have shown that implementing PBIS with fidelity has resulted in higher academic performance, improved social emotional competence, increased attendance, reduced bullying, decreased substance use, and better outcomes for students with disabilities. When implemented with fidelity, PBIS lowers schools' rates of exclusionary discipline, including restraint and seclusion and racial inequities. And equally important, given that PBIS is not just for the students, schools implementing PBIS with fidelity have demonstrated improved educator outcomes, such as teacher efficacy and well-being, teacher-student relationships, student engagement and instructional time, 
school culture and organizational health, which includes improved school climate perceptions of safety. For more information on the evidence base of PBIS, please click on the link to the evaluation brief displayed on the left side of this slide. It's important to remember that the practices are not used in isolation. Data are only useful if accurate and used to make changes, and if systems support the adults who are implementing the practices to improve student behavior on campus. As described previously, PBIS is a framework where the key features can be organized by essential elements, data, systems, and practice, as depicted in this table. To look more closely at this table, please click on the link at the bottom of the slide for the PBIS implementation blueprint. For more information on PBIS implementation, please visit pbis.org and select the PBIS tab at the top of the screen. You can also find resources there for Tier 2, Tier 3, and getting started with implementation. At pbis.org, there are additional resources to help support Tier 1 implementation. For example, there are resources on research for using Tier 1 with students with disabilities, information using team-based problem solving, and strategies to address equity. You can visit us on our social media pages. Thank you for listening. For additional resources, please remember to check out pbis.org.